One of the most important things you can do for yourself in any of your classes is to create a schedule. So I am on my Google Calendar here and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to create a great schedule. I'm changing this to the week just so that we can view it like that. I could just as easily do it with the month or four days, but for now I'll stick with week so that we can talk about it. Um, Monday, January 16th, 17th is the first day of the semester. That's because Martin Luther King is a holiday. You can see on my schedule, I've already added add drop week because I know that's going to last, let's see, I think it goes into, yeah, all the way up to the 24th. But my class typically appears, let me just look at my schedule, um, this one, the news writing class. I'll add that first because it's once a week and it's all semester. So let's see, I'll go back to my calendar and what day does that happen on? Tuesdays. All right, that's perfect. So on Tuesday at 9.30, I'll just click here in the middle and type the event. And I need to change the time to 12.15. That's not an option. So I'll choose 12.30 and then I'll just put my cursor right after the zero of 30 and erase the 30 and put in 15. So now I've got one class at the right times. I need to work on this does not repeat because it does repeat. It repeats weekly on Tuesdays, but there's a few other things I want to add, so I'm going to come down to custom. So it does have an end date. And the end date is, let me just see if I can get that calendar up. The end date for the spring semester is spring classes in May 13th. So I'm going to put that in here. And now I've got it on Tuesdays. It repeats every week and it ends on May 13th. If this were a class that met twice a week, like my other one that meets Monday and Thursday, those are the dots that I would have selected Monday and Thursday. So I'm going to bring it back to just Tuesday and say done. Now something else I'd like to do is I'd like to add an alarm because I think that's helpful. So let me get more options and I'm going here to notification. If I had a notification 30 minutes before, well what if I'm not at my computer? So I'm going to instead of notification, I'm going to make it an email and I would like to get the email um, an hour maybe two hours before class starts. No, I think one hour is good. And there's that notification. So I have one notification. It's an email. It will come an hour before class starts. Maybe I'll do one more notification and that will be a notification which is a little ding or a banner at the top. And I think 10 minutes before the class starts is a good choice. So I'm going to keep my two notifications, double check my day, my time, and note that it happens weekly until May 13th. So I'll save that. And now as I flip through my weeks, you'll see there's that class every week. I know that for this class, there's going to be some homework. So I'm going to schedule that homework time right now. I think that I'll be getting the class information, and I happen to know my schedule well enough to know that I've got a few hours after class that's free. So this is a three hour class, which means I need to schedule three to six hours of homework per week for this class. So now I'm going to click right here. I'll do the first three hours right after class. Maybe I'll take a break in between. And then I'll do the next three hours, perhaps on the weekend before class, maybe Sunday. So let me click here. First thing I want to do is make this a different color so that my homework can be a different color altogether than the class. I want three hours, so from one to four, that's three hours. That's the first three hours, and maybe I'll finish my homework all this without having to go to the second scheduled time, but I'll have it scheduled anyway, just in case. 
So let's go to the does not repeat and custom. And here I'll say Monday and Sunday. I mean Tuesday and Sunday. So I'm going to have two instances of opportunities to do homework for this class. Again, I'm going to have it end on May 13th. And now I'm finished with, oh, I didn't name it. So let's give this, there we go. Now I'm going to look at my schedule and pop in this class, this class, this class, and these two classes. So I've got, I'll have a full schedule. By the time I finish, all of these days will be filled with something that's either working with the class or doing the homework for the class. It's just such an important thing to be able to schedule your time and know what time you need to put in to each class.